Hi friends, uh, we're saying after a long time, um, I'm going to start with the Maddox rod test because the previous video I saw that the audio quality and probably the video quality was not that great. Uh, you couldn't have followed anything if at all. So the scenario goes like this. We're talking about a patient with left exophoria and um, the Maddox rod is placed in front of his right eye. So what is it that he's going to see? So for this question, I'm not, I'm not given any answers to this scenario because I want you to understand the concept so you can handle any questions and any combination of options, all right? So to handle this sort of a question, okay, with my dog's rod, you need to understand two concepts. So I'm gonna to talk to you about two concepts. So number one is the Maddox rod itself. Okay, so this is the Maddox rod. So can you see here, there are a very fine lines going across. Okay, so it's basically stacking of cylinders, all right? So cylinders are stacked one on top of each other. So when I see through this Maddox rod, a point source of light, what do I see? I see always a streak of line. Okay, I see a streak of line, be it horizontal or vertical. I never see a circular source of light okay the although my source of light may be just a spot source or a circular source i never get to see a circular source of light i always see a streak or a line now what is the orientation of this line all right so the orientation of this line depends upon how i'm going to hold my maddox rod so i'm going to hold my maddox rod like this horizontally all right if it's going to be horizontal like this what i see would be a vertical streak of light and if i were to place it like this like this that is when my dog's rod is oriented vertically, then I get to see a horizontal streak of light. So this is the first concept that I want you to know. And what is the second concept that I want you to know? The second concept is based on this crossed and uncrossed diplopia, right? So the crossed and uncrossed diplopia, now don't worry at all. What is crossed, what is uncrossed, and what is the mechanism? See, the mechanism, let's not go into it because it's just not worth the trouble of knowing it at this point in time. Okay, with you know less than 40 days to go for your exam, uh, it's not really advisable for you to just you know break your heads on the mechanism. I will just tell you what is crossed and uncrossed diplopia. See, you know what is a diplopia, right? Double vision. So, um, crossed is or let's start with the simplest uncrossed uncrosses patient definitely sees two images uncrossed diplopia patient definitely sees two images but he sees them and the same orientation okay they're not ulta whereas in in cross diplopia whatever i'm projecting to the patient will be seen ulta by the patient okay what is on the right will appear to him as in the left and what is in the left will appear to him as to be in the right you know sounds a little complex now that is why we use this maddox rod now let me say i'm orthophoric i mean i don't have any squint now if i place it like as it is okay like as the question if i'm placing it horizontally in front of my right eye what would i see when i look at a point source of light so the light is supposed to be circular so my left eye in front of it there's nothing at all my left eye will see a circular source of light and my right eye will see a vertical streak of light because I'm putting the Maddox rod horizontally in front of it. Now, because I don't have a squint, I'm supposed to see a binocular single vision, all right? So what happens, this spot and the circle and the vertical streak overlap each other, okay? They're, so they're not separated, they're one on top of the other, all right? So that is how any normal person ought to see this. Now, suppose I have a exo, like in this case, a left exo. Now, what, has, what happens in a exo, in a divergent squint? In exo, it is crossed. It's a crossed diplopia. Do you get that? That's the simplest way to remember. In exo, you have a crossed diplopia. So automatically in convergence squint, you have a, or in ESO, you have a uncrossed diplopia. So when I'm seeing like this, what happens? My right eye sees a vertical line and my left eye sees a spot. Okay. Right? Now it's not going to overlap because I have a squint. So they're not going to overlap, number one. And number two, how are they going to be placed? Are they going to be horizontally separated or are they going to be up and down? So I'm going to see the spot separately and the line separately. Are they going to be horizontally separated or are they going to be vertically separated? Now, because this is exo, okay? It's a divergent on a horizontal plane. So definitely I'm going to have a horizontal diplopia. So they're going to be horizontally separated, all right? So that's number two. Number three, is it a crossed or uncrossed diplopia? Now we are saying it's an exo. So exo has a 
cross diplo yeah right so exo means so whatever i am seeing right eye is seeing a vertical streak left eye is seeing a circular spot of light now because it is a cross diplopia it will be seen like this so patient will actually see on say or say you have to ask the, ask the patient okay so you have to talk to the patient so when you talk to the patient the patient will tell you left side may i can see a vertical streak and on the right side i can see a spot do you get that because it is a left exo and i put a maddox rod horizontally so now it is a cross diplopia so whatever seen by the right eye is projected to on the left to the patient and whatever is seen in the left eye is projected to the right of the patient is that clear so this clinical scenario which i've written down there patient with left exo now forget the foria exo divergent squint where the medox rod is placed horizontally in front of the right eye what does he see all right so to the given question the patient is going to see a vertical line on the left and a spot or a circular source of light on the right now that is the answer now i hope you have understood whatever i've taught you in this short video now based on that i'm giving you another scenario which i want you to answer as part of the comments so the question will remain the scenario will be the same that is it's a left exo okay i'm not changing that i'm keeping it as left exo but the only thing is i'm putting the maddox rod horizontally in front of the left eye got it so the homework for you right now is a patient with left exo or left divergent squint wherein the maddox rod is placed horizontally in front of the left eye what does he see now if you understood whatever i taught you right now go ahead and you comment and let me see what is the understanding of your concept so that this nightmare is broken down once and for all and you can go ahead with any sort of questions with any sort of combination of options right so get back to me if you have any doubts but please do not pester me i have some work so i will answer at my own time all right thank you guys i hope this is, makes it crystal clear for you And yes, happy Sunday and happy learning.